60 minutes to the Super Bowl. Here are Kale Sirens and J.P. Peterson. You know, you often hear stories about local former prep stars playing mm. big in big games, and we certainly saw that two years ago with Lakeland's Ray Lewis. That's right, the Super Bowl. Well, there's another Lakeland Kathleen alum who could have a big impact at Sunday's game, but not for the Bucks. Jeff Patterson joins us again from Philly with that story. Jeff? JP, Freddie Mitchell grew up cheering for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday. He hopes to beat them to fulfill a lifelong dream of going to the Super Bowl. This year, Freddie's stats have not been overwhelming for the Eagles. Just over 100 yards of receiving and no touchdowns. But Freddie still has his fans in the Bay Area, and this weekend, his former high school coaches and his family will be cheering for Freddie to do well on Sunday, but they'll actually be rooting for the Bucks. Up top, there's Freddie Mitchell. There's Freddie Mitchell, all right, playing in the NFL, playing for the Eagles, the number three receiver for Donovan McNabb. McNabb had the time, a bullet to Freddie Mitchell. Mitchell became the Eagles' first-round draft pick in 2001 from UCLA, where he played both football and basketball. Before that, he was a standout at Lakeland's Kathleen High School, and his coaches there haven't forgotten him. If you get a chance, you see Freddie, tell him he owes me that used Jaguar. <laughs> Joking aside, the coaches who knew Freddie say he excelled at football and much more. He was a phenomenal baseball player, great basketball player, ran cross country, you know, could have been a tremendous track person too if he'd have done that. Working with Freddie was different. Uh, superb athlete, raw talent baseball wise. Gary Lionberger coached Mitchell on defense and has seen other great athletes come through the school, including Ravens linebacker Ray Lewis. But Coach Lionberger says Freddie stands out. In 25 years of coaching football, he's the absolute best athlete I've ever been around, and I've been around some very good athletes, you know. Mitchell was All-State and All-American in high school. He played on the school's first state championship basketball team. He was a major part, a major player and a major component of the team. But his dream wasn't to play in an NBA final. And I've always wanted to play in the Super Bowl, and it's always been, you know, a goal of mine. So. Growing up in Lakeland, Freddie quite naturally cheered for the Buccaneers. But I grew up cheering for the Buccaneers that were orange. So playing the team he cheered for as a young man will provide some interesting motivation on Sunday. It's fun going back to your old place and, and playing the Bucks. You know, being as a kid, you always loved them. And now you're playing against them. You know, it's awesome. You know, I can't wait. And now just 60 minutes of football stand between Freddie and his dream, even though some of his own family will actually be cheering for the Bucks. It's going to be fun. You know, uh, they're going to see me catching balls, you know, and they're going to be cheering when I'm on there. But I guess when it's time for Keyshawn to do his thing, they're going to be cheering for him too. So it's funny. You know, it's, it's all love. Yeah, we'll see who gets all the love in the city of brotherly love on Sunday. But coming up in this special, I'll be talking with Ira Kaufman of the Tampa Tribune. We've been up here with the Eagles all week, and we'll see what Ira has to say about the keys of this game for Philadelphia. JP? All right, thanks, Jeff, and uh, stay warm, and we'll see you a little bit later on. Tampa Tribune Bucks beat writer Roy Cummings is up next with his keys to the game. And we got a special treat for you, Buck fans, a sneak preview of the actual motivational video the, video the Bucks will watch tonight. You get to see it before they do. You won't want to miss this as 60 Minutes to the Super Bowl continues.